everyone please welcome and join me easy steps today i'm going to share with you a gaming computer i'm going to build the computer from scratch and i will share with you how do i do it i'm going to make a small micro computer it's a micro atx and i'm going to use i7 6700 intel processor the motherboard i'm going to use a msi it's a h110m it's not a high end it's right in the middle the graphics card i'm going to use msi it's a radeon r9 380 and this one has dedicated 4 gig ddr5 i'm going to use the two sticks of a ddr4 and this one is a 16 gig it's a two sticks it's a 8 gig each i'm going to use a thermal grease I'm going to use uh, 850 watt power supply, so old existing power supply I had it, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a water cooler, it's a Corsair Hydro series, it's a H110i GTX. Water cooler has a 2x 140mm fans, and this is a really nice water cooler. I'm going to use a hard drive, it's a SSD, so one terabyte. I'm going to use a small thermal take case and the, which is a Core V21. So how do I make it my gaming computer? Without wasting any time, let's get started. First thing first, you have your case ready. This is a really nice case. It's a beautiful looking. I really like the screen system. This is the magnetic stripes on the side. This goes on the top and basically you just pull it, you clean it, you can wash it, or you can just uh, dust it off. Same thing on the side, you just take it off, dust it off, then put that. This case uh, gives you two options. You can install your motherboard horizontal to this case or vertical. Our MSI H110M gaming motherboard, i7-6700 and the thermal grease. Patriot DDR4, MSI Radeon R9 380, graphic card, Corsair Hydro Series H110i GTX water cooling system. This one uh, requires a little bit of uh, work because we need to put together everything. This is all the hardware. So once we put it together, then we we'll put it into our case. The cooling system do require some work. These are the fans, so I already put one fan on and uh, make sure that to keep the orientation on the same side and we're going to place this one, the second one as well and then we're going to, the screws are provided, we're going to put the screws in and we're going to tighten it. We're just going to do the hand tight of these screws, we're not going to tighten them too much. The radiator has fans on the bottom as you see it. You can put it on the top, either your personal choice, and it's gonna fit right in here. You can put it here, or you can put it on this side. I'm keeping the radiator flush to the body. My graphics card is going to fit here, so I'm going to keep this radiator right on this side. So we have our motherboard ready, and uh, this is the this is a safety bracket. We're going to discard it. This is the clip, you push it down, and pull towards me and then it opens the socket this is the i7 cpu and make sure the pin orientation right here dotted on the cpu the pin one is right here as a triangle put it into the cavity it sits nicely so once it's uh, sit down to the cavity make sure try to avoid the fingerprints on the uh, top of uh, cpu because once uh, you have a fingerprints on and we're going to put the thermal grease it's going to create a barrier so that's no good so now we're going to put the socket back and uh, this is very simple basically it goes in here as we're going to bring this one down you see this one this is uh, the screw what it does when we go like this it goes underneath and that locks in so we're going to go like this and print and lock it and that's how it's going to fit so put the memories in this is the 8 gig stick and so 16 gig these are ddr4 
So you have to make sure that the notch, uh, one on smaller side, one on bigger side. So you won't uh, do mistake on this one. So it's a, you just press it. Once you press it, you hurt the snap, it locks in. And I'll get the second one, the same way. You drop into the notches. Okay. We are ready to go. To install the water cooler, we need to put the socket. These are the four holes. So we're going to drop this one inside. And now we're going to turn this thing over. And we're going to put it flat again. Apply a little amount of thermal grease. These are the small tiny washers. These fit on each corner. Once the washers are placed, we're going to screw these spacers. These spacers has a screw on both ends. One goes in a socket on top and one goes on the bottom. Now we are ready for the cooler. We're going to place right on the socket, just like that. These are the screws. We're going to mount these on. One thing is uh, that it's a good idea to remove the memory because then uh, what it does is it gets easier to install these uh, screws on. Otherwise it gets kind of harder because they gets in the way. So I'm doing it hand tight and now I can get the screwdriver. And when you are tightening these it's really important that you don't over tight these. Also tight diagonal crosswise. We are done with all screws, so they all tighten. Our water cooler is securely in place and now we're going to put the memories back. This is the cable harness. So these are a mini USB, I'm going to plug in right in here. So this connector can fit on either USB 2 or USB 1. So I'm just going to place it on USB 2. Now our motherboard is ready. Water cooler is mounted on. So we're going to bring the motherboard inside our case and we're going to secure that in. We're going to secure our water cooler as I have shown you on the top. And that's what we need to do right now. So we're going to bring our motherboard. This is the face plate or IO plate. The way it's going to be mounted, it's going to go like this. We're going to place it right on there and we're going to press it. Once you press it, you hurt the snap. Just like that. And now we're going to bring our motherboard. When we're going to place our motherboard, you need to make sure that these clips of face plate goes on top of your USBs. So as for the body screw, we're going to put one here, one here, one right in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws gonna go into the body and that will secure our motherboard in place. It's not going to move anywhere. These are small tiny screws. This goes right on top of these body holes. So we put it in, we tighten these. So always work cross to cross place it on this side and then we'll put the rest of the screws so I'll finish up all the screws so once the motherboard is secured and now we're going to place these cables which is going to fit right in here so once this one fit these are the two fan connectors and that's going to fit into this one so once we have our cables connected our fan is hooked up and this is what we're gonna do this is the water cooler we're going to slowly slowly no rush this is the patient work you don't want to rush it now we need to bring slowly slowly cooler inside as you can see now how i'm sliding it once it's slided in this is the how it's gonna come so slowly you're going to slide this one in this is the way it's going to fit now we're going to put the screws on so as you can see it's a one two three four screws on this side four screws on this side so we're going to mount the screws so it will keep a radiator securely in this place it's not going to move so we have screws are mounted right here two more here and two more here so after placing uh, the screws on each corner i'm going to place two more screws in the middle two on this side so i'll gather eight screws and that will hold the radiator in place so now we are ready for our graphic cards the safety contact we're going to remove that so we place it on the socket and we 
press it as you heard the snap it firmly locks in we'll put these two screws to secure our graphic card we'll put the plate back in the cover so that's all we put the graphic card now we're going to put the power supply we're going to remove the panel which is the bottom panel once you remove the screws the panel comes up i'll bring the power supply up and we're going to secure it with the screws so these are the screws we're going to put it on and one more get the screwdriver we can tighten it you don't need to over tighten it we're going to put back the back cover we're going to secure with the screws and a good thing about the power supply also this one has a nice filter you remove the screen filter and you clean it and this is a good filter and tighten these screws and now we can flip it again and now we can and i'm going to finish up plugging in all the cables so far we have a covered installing motherboard water cooling system graphic card and power supply and i installed ssd drive i run my cables from power supply 24 pin power cable i plugged into motherboard 4 pin power that one plugged right in here the other part of the cables i run through i just put the tie up right now here and i run through the power on the graphic card. All the computer parts are assembled perfectly fine. I have a Windows 10 ready USB disk. How do I make bootable drive? Please check my other video. So our computer is ready and uh, we'll install over the last panel. Install it with the screws in. So we're going to put the screws in. One more at the bottom. So we are almost done and we'll take the plastic off. And now I will install my Windows 10 and I hope uh, you enjoyed the gaming computer, how to build it from scratch and please check my description, I will provide you the link where to get the parts and how much it did indeed cost me. If you think this video helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, easy steps. And I'm going to see you soon with the new videos. Thank you. Bye.